Okay, hi everyone, um, in YouTube land, hope everyone's enjoying their day. Um, so tonight's the last night of haunt, so I thought I would be the greatest um, person of all and give you a walkthrough of my maze. So there's the sign, and it gets hang up every single night. Um, they put it away and then they walk you through and then you come in here. <coughs> so the whole basic storyline of Forevermore is it is going to be a it's a maze obviously modern modern day killer um modern day killer decides he's going to kill in honor in the way that people die in the post stories so as you're walking through you're going through every single story in each of the mazes so, so i'm going to walk through and so you guys can see it because um some people see it some people don't um so yeah so let's walk through okay so technically what we walk through i'll uh, that's all of Okay, so what you first walk through, you walk through this hallway with menacing music, and then you come down to here, and then you see this. So this is a destroyed Channel van. 7 news. Destroyed van. Des the destroyed van. <laughs> um, so one thing you don't know is when you go in and you see the video, you there's a cue video that tells you what you're seeing. Um, and this actually happens to be the van that's in the video. And then yeah, you pew and then you see like SWAT people that we call the stormtroopers. Um, and this is his shack. So this is the killer's shack. Um, what we, what I didn't actually know is that he set up booby traps and has killed the people, the reporters trying to get in his house so that they could see him. So you're seeing reporters and all these different people and shit. Let's go into his house. Yay! All right. So this is his shack. It's a little dark. So anyways, um, so it's different pictures and stuff of everything. Um, and so one of the funnier things is, and it just pointed out to me, that's fucking Mama June from Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> um, I don't know who that is, but it's, it's a- sumo up there. In sumo. So pretty much all of this, this, this is the killer's shack. So all of this is what he's been doing. So these are floor plans and stuff are- From previous years too. From previous years. This one's from Terror of London. I don't know what this one is. I know that this one is actually Doll Factory, but I oh, do not shit. know what this one is. I didn't realize that was Doll Factory. Um, it's got a snake pit in it. Yeah. Lion so, pen. There's a lot of different, so it's a really interesting, it's a very interesting um, setup we have. Um, and then this TV right here actually plays the Q video. It's murder and all that stuff. And you'll notice as you look around, there should be stuff from like Poe. There's Francis Bacon, and then there's actually the unknown Poe. There's all this cool stuff. Um, and then it's all news clippings and stuff of the killer. And then, fun fact, that's Daniel Miller. If you don't know who Daniel Miller is, he designs mazes. He did Black Magic. Um, he did Delirium. He did all this stuff. So this is, it's really dark in this room, so I don't know if you can see it. This one is the killer's photo room. So he takes pictures of all of his murders. Yeah, give me some lights. That way the folks at home can see. Um, so, oh, shit, home can see because I really care. Yeah, so these are all pictures <laughs> from his murders and stuff, and it's in red because it's a photo room and stuff. Um, oh, that's creepy. Like, that's... that's they're trying that's, to light as from much... The, that's from the grudge. That's the funny part. That This is a, this is a rehash from the from the grudge maze that we had. Yeah, yeah wow. All so, right, yeah, so you can see. And then um, as you come into this room, you hear all the different ones. This is a precursor because this is from Tar and Feathers and stuff. So you're walking in. That's a picture of Brooke. That's Brooke. I love them. All right, so now you're going in further down. Did you notice that one of those newspapers said decline in, in uh, male fertility? Really? <laughs> yeah, I just said. Oh, my God. So, again, all of these are precursors to what you will see in the maze. And then, as you round this corner... And the dead cats. The dead cats. This is one of the coolest things you will ever see on the planet. These are wings made of skulls and spines and rib cages. And there is a girl that stands on here that swings and she's shackled and it's it's freaking awesome. All right, so that's that one. So you round this corner and you reach the best thing ever. The very first room and of course it has to be the raven because the killer himself is actually in um, a bird beak and that's what he's modeled after. So in the, in the whole forevermore story the first person he kills is his professor. So all it so by so he does so there's by a, a pecking his eyes out. Oh, cool. So these are all 
The level of geekery in this room is hilarious. It's, it's freaking awesome. And you'll actually, from this room on, you will start hearing um, the narrations of each of the stories in it. And all of this stuff comes on. It's eerie lighting. It's freaking there's awesome. There's actually, and if you look down there, there's actually a pedal there's where a they pedal can there. turn the lights on and off, which I thought was so really, I you, didn't know about that. So when you tap it, the lights come on and it projects onto this chair. Who is supposed to be sitting there is Professor, the Professor, and his eyes are pecked out. It's really cool. And then he, he takes out the light and then goes and scares you. Okay, so moving on. So this is Once Upon a Midnight Jerry. It's literally just a hallway. So And then there's someone there to scare you. But this one is my favorite because this is the fall of the House of Usher. However, you don't know it's that because it, you don't know it. So this is the cage. This is one of his other victims that he changes or chases and grabs. His sister. His sister. So here's the even cooler part. These walls fucking move. Well, they did it till last night. Well, yeah, true. They Oh, did they? Yeah, so these walls move, and there is someone who pushes a button to keep it going because it's not always on. <coughs> oh, ah. All right, so then this is the, um, this is Murders in the Room Morgue. Um, in this story, an orangutan comes in and kills um, a, a woman and her, and her daughter. So this room, um, there used to be a dead body here. They don't have it anymore because it's actually a victim, and you can see murder, murder. Room morgue. Um, and again, there's still narration playing. There's blood all over the place. I've actually scared in this room before. It was freaking awesome. Um, we've actually had to move a lot of shit. Um, and so this was my original room. So this is the room that I was in. This is the, the um, oh Lord, um, the system of Dr. Tower Professor Feather. So a guy goes into a, a very well known insane asylum in France and um, discovers they have a system. That system, you may ask, is actually going to, is, they're trying, um, it's trying to essentially, I'm trying to remember what it is, um, is to pretty much let the, let the assailants do what they, have, what, do whatever they please. So, instead, they get tarred and feathered. So here's the best part of this, is if you've seen, I showed you a picture, that is, this is the room that that picture's from. All right, so moving on. This one is going to be, this next one is the Telltale Heart. The only way you know that this room is a telltale heart is you see heart, heart, the beating. Um, there's a lot, of, there's a nasty body. This is, I hear, from Terror of London. And then there is actually a light effect that goes off. Um, and there's people in nurse costumes that are trying to kill you. Um, this is actually one of the best scares in the entire room because it's dark. I think that says fart. Or it should say heart, but I guess it has fart. Um, so anyways, and then there's the closet here that actually connects you from this room into Killer Shack, which is really cool. So this is what I call the Black Cat Forest. So all of this is um, dead cats and the woman's been killed with a hatchet in her head because that's what happens in the story. So all these cats are hanging, hanging, and then there's this one bit where it's dark and there's a black string that you come across and it really gets you. And look at all of these. He hangs the cat. Nasty fog machine over there. Then this one is pretty cool. It's the pit and the pendulum. So pit and the pendulum. Pit and pendulum. This pendulum does actually swing and there is actually talent in the water um, with the dead body. So it's really cool. And then they have the scythe that they go against the thing. It's freaking awesome. This one is a little bit darker. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but this is the cask of Amontillado. So guy hates the guy so much that he decides to put him or take him down to a wine cellar because of the fact, and, and lures him by telling him he has the best cask of Amontillado, which is a really good wine. Um, and, and of course, this guy happens to be really overly fond. So as you walk in the room, you see wines, there's skulls, nasty. Um, and there are people also dressed in here that are here to scare you. Um, and you don't notice these things until you actually really look. And finally, my room, which is the Red Clock Club. Isn't that pretty? So here, before we walk in, let me preface that when you're walking through this maze, you are actually walking through crime scenes. Um, so all these people have died. The only way you know it's actually a crime scene is because of the blood that has been written on the walls for each story. However, there is only one room that does not have it. Besides how Fall House Usher, that would be the Red Clock Club because this murder has not happened yet. So when you walk in, it's lush, it's amazing, and there's actually paintings of the killer going through. This is actually 